What's the word, y'all? Always watching TV. Back with another exclusive. You know the vibes. Hit the like button if you're rocking with the content. Pull up in the comment sections. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you stay notified whenever we drop. Follow us on all socials at Always Watching TV. And today we got your boy Wack 100 chopping it up with a fellow New Yorker. This guy by the name of Relly claims to be upset that No Jumper and Adam 22 is interviewing the guy that unalive pop smoke. And this guy decided to take his anger out on WAC 100, man. I guess this is the only person he got access to. Adam and the No Jumper staff are ignoring him. I don't know if this is some type of clout move. I mean, if you're feeling a way about Pop Smoke and one of his alleged, well, not alleged because the guy did time for this, one of the people that's responsible for unaliving him, why not just book a flight to California, do your homework, and handle your candle? I, while you on Clubhouse trying to argue with WAC 100. But hey, man, y'all know how we do over here. It's always watching TV. I'm going to let the clip play, let y'all hear this nonsense for yourself. Make sure y'all like, share the video. And I might pull up at the end of the video with a little more politics, man. Let's see what they talk about. This Remo, Wack, you know Remo. So if you say that's not true, yeah, I don't slow down, that number. slow down, bro. All right, you in the chat. <clears throat> Saw you in the chat. The homie 2 P's hit me. What, what, what's happening? What is it you trying to say? I I don't want to put a nigga information out there and none of that extra, bro. But well, who that are nigga, you? You sound like you from New York. Yeah, I'm from New York, bro. I'm the nigga Ain't who was no on the phone. I'm the nigga who was on the phone with um the Vermont Trophy nigga, bro. The Hoover nigga, brother. He was arguing with me on the phone about that pipe smoke. Okay, shit. okay, but here go the problem, right? Yeah. Here goes the problem. Here goes something that I know you don't want to accept. You can't tell a nigga what it was that was there when you was three thousand miles away. What you mean? And I this got is phone some, call. This is something you don't. You got what phone call? The, the, when Pop got hit, I got that phone call for Mike D. Wait, li listen, listen, it don't matter. Was Mike D there? Yeah, he was in the crib. It was Mike D, Apex, the camera, and the that was in the bed with Pop. So who was Apex? Apex is the cam, the camera, the camera. Like she a dyke, but she a cameraman. Who was Mike D? That's his best friend. Okay, so you said he in there with two niggas and two. No, he in there with. A, a nigga and a kid that was in a bed with him. Okay, so that this is a problem, right? Really? So, Here goes the problem, right? You got a dot you in the bed with that you probably met on a phone call. Definitely not said, her LA. Listen, listen, right? This is what I'm saying. A, a cameraman in the, in the bed. Now, do you understand why us old niggas tell you young niggas because you don't listen, you gonna die? Respectfully, I could get you that. You got a gonna be anyone you you order from LA tied to at least five niggas, right? From five different hoods, right? This is the reality of it, right? All right, yeah. Okay, you got a cameraman, right? Okay, now who is the apex nigga? Nigga, nah, that's just a cam. That's just who shoot the video, shot pop smoke videos and do his well, photos. Who's Mike D? The Mike. That nigga yeah. is his best friend. That nigga ain't no street nigga, bro. Yeah, street. So, up with him. So, watch it. So, he out there playing. Let's see if you go keep it real. His label told him. No, 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 no. He no, couldn't no, no. bring his friends, no, no. his quote unquote friends around. That's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap because oh, the label I called me. The label called me and I told him, put the nigga at the W Hotel, get him about five rooms, he'd be all right. Don't put that nigga in no be whack. He want to be at a house in the Hollywood Hills. Nigga ain't no nigga listening to what no label telling him who he could have in a good house in the hills. PTR, right? Look, this Remo, and you and know Remo. And let me tell you how I know you capping, though. Capping about what? This Remo, I'm tell you how I know you capping. If I capping, it's not Remo number right here. Me sending Homie, him the clips follow, of my Follow me this. The nigga and niggas were trying to get Blueface to the studio that night, same day. Blueface was shooting a video with the baby, right? I understand here. why that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He right. called me. I'm in Europe. I shut right. it down. You ain't telling me dude was in the studio. But I'm counter arguing what happened to three, Pop. No, no, I, with I three agree people. With you on everything that what I'm to telling Pop, you. Did bad. Now, now, now. What about my man who said whack? The nigga didn't order fifteen bitches. 
I agree with you on all of that, bro. He was moving wrong in LA. I'm talking about these niggas that y'all was just running that content. They ain't know nothing about that situation until Remo caught my phone and asked me for that content and asked me to break it down to him. And look at my PTR, nigga. He told me they wasn't running that on no jumper and still gave the nigga an interview. What the only, what, what, what you mean? He, bro, he did time. He was in the house. Nigga don't need you to tell him what happened. He what was in the house. I don't need them. So what's all of this right here in my team? He That's was in, yo, he was, in, he was in the house, though. Listen, he's one of the four bodies that was in the house. It's for, exactly, and Remo ain't even know the niggas' full names. Listen, he from LA. We don't, Remo ain't from no, what you mean? You talking about Remo from no jumper? Yes, sir. Oh, from New York and Mississippi, he ain't from no fucking LA. Who you mean? Nigga on the LA podcast. Remo is from New York and lived in Mississippi. Then came to LA, bro. He is not from no fucking West Coast. So y'all not embracing him as an LA nigga? No, he can Remo from no jumper. You crazy? Guys. What are you talking about, bro? I did a whole segment on the nigga. Yo, listen, bro. So. Did you not know Remo from New York? Wait, did you not know that Remo from New York? But he, he, he the same thing as Pac. Pac went out there. We treated Pac like he a LA nigga in New York. We don't treat not no. What you mean? Why would y'all do that? Cause nigga, he starts saying he Biggie nigga. Ain't you mean why? He's Biggie too. Yeah, he says why too fat. Now stay in LA. Don't put us no more. What? Nah, y'all wasn't doing. Y'all was y'all was claiming Pac. Wasn't even born when I came out. That cat. He right. wasn't even born. That nigga wasn't Yo, even you, born. Yo, y'all niggas up here playing around. Anyway, so you trying to say you tried to save Pop? You, That's what I'm asking you because you saying he came are you, out are you Are Are you you saying that Pop spoke and Tupac was moving the same? You can't be saying that. Nah, 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 nah. One no niggas, one no niggas would have ran up in no studio, no death row studio, no house, and none of them penthouses on no Tupac back there. What happened? Why not, nigga? They ran, they ran up on him after Mike Tyson fight. No, they didn't, my nigga. They ran up on him on him. Pac ran up on somebody. How old are you, bro? Yeah. Pac got killed on Las Vegas Boulevard, my nigga. Yeah. You, you, you wasn't even born. Old. He wasn't even born yet. At the end of the day, it don't matter. Y'all giving a platform to a nigga that was in a situation with a nigga from my city, nigga. What you mean? Okay, so let me ask you a question. Like, what if we gave the nigga a platform in New York, somebody, somebody from L.A., nigga? We expect you to. Why? We expect so everybody not? to. Why not? Sick, nigga. Why not? That's sad, bro. Them niggas I'm ain't asking you why not. Content. Them niggas, them niggas is in LA, supposed to know everything that's going on in Hoover about niggas that's locked up in LA, but they coming to a New York nigga for information though. Adam or oh, ain't no Bro, anything. bro, they been announced this nigga was on the street. He running around with the homies from inside and everybody home. else FaceTiming niggas. That's the street. So I was supposed to interview the nigga. I just didn't do it. Two weeks before no jumper. Cause you know what's going on if you do that. What you mean by that? It's one nigga still locked up for that. It don't matter. It's two niggas still ain't with the trial. This is what I'm trying to explain to you, Wack. Have some respect for New York City, you heard? That ain't got nothing to do with New York City. It's a dude, nigga. That's a you nigga. Pop Smoke? Hey, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke is not the face of New York City. Yes, he is, nigga. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's no, not. He's not. No, he's so not. who is? No, he's not. So who is then? No, he's not. Who is that? It's a nigga like Jay-Z that can walk through every borough. And it's going to be a group of niggas that's going to say, we're going to make sure you all right. Listen, if Pac Smoke walk was out there, you know it's niggas that want to get that man. Can you walk through every hood in L.A.? Who, me? Personally? Yeah. Yeah. Not every hood. A lot of them. Not every hood. Not everyone, right? Exactly. No, a lot yeah, of So them. it's the same thing with Pop Smoke, nigga. Nah, 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 nah. This niggas over there want to pop. And this niggas that want to do something to you, allegedly. This niggas want to do something to everybody. Exactly. Don't tell me the nigga. I, you don't hear me saying I'm the face of LA either, nigga. It's the you do. You, you ain't never heard me say that. Never. I bet. I don't even so talk you, like that. You know I don't even not, talk like that. Because you know you're only 4'11, nigga. Huh? Uh huh. What are you talking about, bro? You don't police JFK, bro. Any nigga can land in, in, at Kennedy Airport and get in a mall, Uber, a black car, and go where you want, bro. The LA 60 miles north, south, east, west. Can't no, nigga, can't no nigga tell no nigga. Now we're telling nigga, you better not put a flyer up and we know where you at. You talking a big rally now, bro. When you speak on Pop Smoke. What you're trying to do is use no, Pop Smoke now. Yeah, he definitely trying to use Pop Smoke name 
to to align himself, make it seem like he's somebody that he's not, because we have never seen this guy around Pop Smoke. And furthermore, if this means that much to you and you go in this hard, nigga, why you wasn't in the house being security for Pop Smoke? Why y'all had him all the way out in California where New York or East Coast rappers are known to get clipped at by himself with a bull dagger and his best friend and a 304. Come on, man. That's nasty work. That's begging to get your house ran up into. And then first he claims he was on the phone arguing with the homie that that clipped Pop Smoke's brother. Then he said Remo and Adam reached out to him for information because they didn't know what happened. But if they interviewing somebody who was in the house and participated with the situation, why would they need a random New Yorker's input? You're going to say something biased regardless if you know what happened, bro. He also claims he got on the phone with Mikey D when Pop got clipped. But that's yet to been confirmed. Unless Mikey D comes out and say, yeah, man, the person from New York we called was really. I'm not believing that, man. It just sounds like he's clout chasing. He got the, the knowledge that everybody in New York know. Yeah, man, Pop was out there lacking. They ran up in there to clip him. And somebody from the house called New York before they called 911. Everybody knows this story, bro. He's not saying nothing that everybody don't know. But he's acting like he's breaking the news. You know, like he's the big dog. When it happened, Mikey D called him all the way from New York and Cali to let him know, yo, they just ran up in the crib. Pop got hit. But, bro, I wouldn't even be saying that and claiming that it was you that got called because they saying somebody from that house did, in fact, call somebody from New York. But you know what happened after that? The person from New York was the one that called the police, nigga. So if Mikey D called you, what you then did? Dial 911 and say, hey, my friend was chilling in a B&B in L.A. And some guys ran up in there trying to rob him and they smoked him. Meanwhile, you somewhere in the Bronx smoking a clip? Come on, man. Like... Why are you even repeating that story, man? Your man's went out bad. It's a terrible situation. The people that are responsible for it were teenagers. They were kids. They all coming home. The other two will be home real soon, even if they get charged as adults. They not about to go get no 25 to life and be all the way over with. They about to do a little 10, 15 years and come home, bro. And I get it. Y'all and y'all feelings, y'all feeling away. But this is not how you grieve, man, especially when you acting like you from the streets. Y'all supposed to be driving to Cali, loading up. Getting on the planes, doing your homework, trying to link up with whoever them guys ops is and, and, and get busy. Do something other than getting on the internet acting like y'all mad at everybody that's associating themselves with the person that's responsible for y'all man's getting smoked. I don't even know what's the angle at him saying Remo and Adam reached out to him. Why would they have to reach out to you? They got the guy right there that was in the house. You wasn't in the house. But what y'all think about this, how y'all feel about this, man? This guy, to me, seems like he's cloud chasing. Y'all pull up in the comment sections. Let me know what y'all think about this. As always watching TV, like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so you stay notified. Follow us on all socials at always watching TV. Y'all know the vibes. And until next time, I'm out of here.